our scripture reading and devotional for March 24th. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4. We'll begin with verse 22. And all were speaking well of him and wondering at the gracious words that were falling from his lips. And they were saying, is this not Joseph's son? And he said to them, no doubt you will quote this proverb of me, physician, heal yourself. Whatever we heard was done at Capernaum, do here in your hometown as well. And he said, truly I say to you, no prophet is welcome in his own hometown. But I say to you in truth, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was shut up for three years and six months, when a great famine came over all the land. And yet Elijah was sent to none of them, but only to Zarephath in the land of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow. And there were many lepers in Israel in the time of Elisha the prophet, and none of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. And all in the synagogue were filled with rage as they heard these things, and they rose up and cast him out of the city, and led him to the brow of the hill in which their city had been built, in order to throw him down the cliff. But passing through their midst, he went his way. And he came down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and he was teaching them on the Sabbath. And they were amazed at his teaching, for his message was with authority. And there was a man in the synagogue possessed by the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out with a loud voice, Ha! What have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet and come out of him. And when the demon had thrown him down in their midst, and he came out of him without doing any harm, an amazement came upon them all. And they began discussing with one another, saying, What is this message? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the report about him was getting out into every locality in the surrounding district. And he arose and left the synagogue and entered Simon's home. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they made request of him on her behalf. And standing over her, he rebuked the fever, and it left her. And she was immediately arose and awaited on him. And while the sun was setting, all who had any sick with various diseases were brought to him. And laying his hands on every one of them, he was healing them. And demons also were coming out of many, crying out and saying, You are the Son of God, and rebuking them. He would not allow them to speak, because they knew him to be the Christ. And when day came, he departed and went to a lonely place, and the multitudes were searching for him, and came to him and tried to keep him from going away from them. And he said to them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for I was sent for this purpose. And he kept on preaching in the synagogues of Judea. Our devotional thoughts for today. Jesus gives timely advice on anger in his letter. It is more than good advice, though. It is a keen insight to how much one reacts to truth. This you know, my beloved brethren, but let everyone be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. For the anger of man does not achieve the righteousness of God. James 1, 19-20. Quick to hear what, James? Listen to how James continues. But prove yourselves doers of the word, and not merely hearers who delude themselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks at his natural face in a mirror. James 1, 22-23. There are different kinds of anger. Jesus had righteous anger when he cleared the temple of those who were merchandising for gain. There is anger from reactions to external stimuli also. The anger in our passage today is that which results from a violent reaction to a decision one must make in their hearts in regard to truth. This is the same anger that led to the death of Stephen in the book of Acts. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the quick, and they began gnashing their teeth at him. They cried out with a loud voice and covered their ears, and they rushed upon him with one impulse. Acts chapter 7, verses 54 and 57. However, we do have positive examples of individuals when faced with truth that condemn them. Choose a righteous path. Then David's anger burned greatly against the man, and he said to Nathan, As the Lord lives, surely the man who has done this deserves to die. Then David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. 
And Nathan said to David, The Lord also has taken away your sins. You shall not die. 2 Samuel 12, verses 5, and then verse 13. We don't know how Jesus survived the raging anger of those who sought to kill him there in his hometown of Nazareth. The danger is always there for those who preach the truth that this truth will spurn on the deep-seated anger of those who oppose God. Question of the day, is anger a problem for you when you are confronted with truth? And a thought to meditate on this day. There are times when anger is our first reaction, yet there is a sense that if we reach down inside, we can learn what it means to be quick to hear and slow to speak. Those are scripture and thought for the day, March 24th.